What's up, YouTube? My name is Coco. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to move your timeline from Premier Pro over to DaVinci. Personally, I do most of my edits and color grading in DaVinci Resolve. But before I started using DaVinci, I was a Premier Pro user. So I recently switched over to DaVinci Resolve because I just wanted to learn a new software. There are a lot of editors out there who don't want to make that switch. You still want to be editing with your Premiere Pro and be able to bring in your DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to show you a way to do that. Before we jump to the tutorial, I just want to let you know that when you are editing in Premiere Pro, all you have to do is make your basic cuts before moving the clips over to DaVinci to make it very easy for you. Because most effects in Premiere Pro are meant for just Premiere Pro. When you put those effects on your clips and you try to move them over to DaVinci, DaVinci might not be able to recognize those effects. Although there are some effects that when you move them from Premiere Pro over to DaVinci, DaVinci might find the closest effect they have or transition they have that is as close as possible to the one you have on Premiere Pro to replace it. But to save yourself all the stress, it's best to just make your basic cuts on Premiere Pro, move over to DaVinci, create your footage there, move them back to Premiere Pro to finish your edits. So without wasting much time, let's jump into the tutorial. We are going to head over to File. Exports, Exports Final Cut Pro XML. So don't worry about it saying Final Cut Pro. Just know that XML files are like industry standard for this kind of thing. I don't know how to explain it, but so I'm going to save it as demo. <laughs> Selected part, I'm going to save it my desktop so to be easy for me to access. So exporting now is fast. Now, I'm going to head over to DaVinci Resolve. Head over to your edit page. Going to right click. Come to timeline, import. Whatever you do, do not, do not use import media from XML. That will only import all your media files from your previous um, project. So, what you do, you come to import, timelines, import, AWF, EDL, XML file. So, you head over to save parts. Demo P open. Uh, basically, I just leave everything the way it is because, well, yeah, I just leave everything the way it is. So, click OK. And here it is my Premiere Pro timeline in DaVinci. You head over to your color page and create your node, grade your footage. After getting your files from Premiere Pro over to DaVinci, you are done with your grading. Head over to your delivery page. Click on Premiere Pro XML and you select the location you want the file to save. Basically, everything is already set for you. So you just to make sure you render source resolution, network op optimization, individual clips are selected. Then you add to render queue. Make sure the job is selected then you render. Because I already rendered mine before. So I'm just going to head over to Premiere Pro to show you how it is. So when you get to Premiere Pro, you just import your XML file. You go over to the location you saved your file to. So this was the XML file I exported. And you can just drag it over to your timeline. We're going to import the graded files on the timeline. So you just click on the timeline and this will open. Each time you take your footage over to DaVinci to grid, and when you bring it back, the audio is always like crappy. So what you do, you just replace the previous audio with the original project you have here. This is how you move your files from Premiere Pro over to DaVinci and from DaVinci back to Premiere Pro. So please, I want you guys to encourage me by subscribing to my YouTube channel like in the comments so i can be able to do more videos your comments your likes are the only thing that's going to encourage me to continue dropping content for you guys thank you very much i hope to see you next time bye